all I had on. <coughs> but it wasn't cold or anything. <coughs> anything like that. But all I knew was that I didn't want anything to do with it. I didn't want anything to do with anything. Like, no offense, but um, you go find somebody else. Did they tell you where they came from? No, not at that point. And uh, so then I thought, okay. And all I wanted was to go, you know, come home to Santa Ana. Uh, I didn't want, I didn't want no more. And uh, and I figured, well, they'll leave me alone now. <coughs> and um, because I told them I didn't want any part of it. <coughs> I didn't care about goddamn mankind. I was mad at him as it was. And I remember I was in my room. And here they come. Not in person, but they were started talking to me. And they started telling me about God. Not about his interest as a man and moon. And they said, it's God everywhere. I'm not present. I said, what are you supposed to be? From what I've heard. Is he in this room? Is this room part of everywhere? I said, yes. Well, then he would have to be in this room, too. I said, yeah. Are you part of everywhere? Do you occupy space? I said, well, yes. Sure, yeah. Well, then is he within you? I said, no. He doesn't have anything to do with sinners. <laughs> and that took care of that. And then they, they had a way of having me see something. And I saw this ball in the air. And then they, I saw a little man standing, well, like a full person, but they men were small, on top, on the bottom, and on the fourth side. And they said, we're going to ask each one of them to point to heaven, where heaven is according to them. And they all pointed at the same time. And I said, well, that would put heaven all around the, the world. Because they're all pointing up, like I would do. And I thought, gee, I've never thought of that before. That, um, I thought, well, if heaven is, well, then God would have to be all around us. But see, God wanted nothing to do with me, and I wanted nothing to do with God, so I could care less. Um, they were trying to get a Democrat to have something to do with the Republicans, and I refused. So then they said, I had a typewriter, but I hadn't learned the keys. I typed by look and look and look and look. And then they said, can you picture the keyboard? I said, oh yeah, I've seen it enough times, like I had photographed it mentally, see. And they said, well, why can't you do this when you're typing? Why can't you use a keyboard that you can see without looking at the actual keyboard? I said, well, I don't know. I never, I never, I never thought of that. I never uh, thought of it. I didn't get it, you know. And then they asked me to lie down on the bed. And I did. And the next thing I knew, I was out of my body. My body was laying on the bed, and that to me was me. And I'm in the air, and I'm looking down at my body. And they said, how do you like being out of your body? I said, no, that's me. They said, no, that's your body. This is you. No. Uh-uh. No. This is, this, that's me. But that was such a weird experience. They said, how do you like being out of your body? And I thought about it. I said, you know, I don't have no more problem. It's, it's wonderful. I said, there's no more uh, pain. There's no, no, you know, it was, uh, and they said, you are the spirit. 
an invisible spirit. And then I remember what I said about God being invisible and that God was the spirit. And I thought, no, mm -mm. that's me. They said, get back into your body. And the next thing I knew, I was back in. Um, and I thought, what a weird, uh, what is all this? And I started to get a headache. And uh, I'm trying to go back and remember. And then they started on the mind. Did you create your mind? I said, of course not, I was born with it. Where is your mind? It was supposed to be in my head. What's it composed of? I said, well, it's like the rest of my brain. And you can change that? You can change flesh? I said, of course not. Well, then how come you can change your mind? They said, if you had to created it, you couldn't change it. It's your creation. But that still didn't tell me anything. And then they, they said, remember something, anything that happened in the past. Are you looking at it? I said, yes. And that's what you're thinking. When you remember something, are you thinking about it? I said, yes. Well, isn't that a picture you took? Like a motion picture? I said, well, yeah, kind of like. I wasn't going to give in. Are you projecting that before you thought? Putting it out there? I said, well, yeah, that's the only way I could see it. They said, we thought it was in your mind. Well, that's what I'm looking at. Or you're looking at your mind. Yes. Well, do you mind if we say that you're like projecting it before yourself? I said, I don't know, I don't care. And you took these pictures. I said, no, I just remember them. They said, no, you took them like a motion picture camera in color and what have you with a soundtrack i understood that like was interested in the movies and then they spoke about the other little dab of stuff and that that was the emotion and uh well whatever you know that we uh so that whenever you saw this you would hear the sounds you would uh whatever you felt at the time you'd relive it and uh they said who put that there I said, I didn't put anything anywhere, I just remember it. Well, are you carrying it around with you? I said, yeah, I guess so. Well, how do you do that? I said, by remembering. Well, why do you remember? Well, because I want to. Well, why do you remember the bad stuff along with the good stuff? Because I can't help it. I have to remember both. And this is what your mind is composed of. I said, well, yeah, now that you mention it. He said, well, there are two children. Each one had a pail. And they were at the beach on the shore and one went one way and one went the other way to collect seashells and they came back and one emptied his bucket to show the other one what he had gathered and then the other one emptied his bucket to show what he had gathered he said wouldn't your mind be the same thing as those seashells that you gathered I said what well, kind of like well then, if everything that is in your mind 
is what you have chosen to remember, then didn't you gather these by having the experience? I said, no, because something got thrust upon us. I didn't have anything to do with that. Well, didn't your being there have something to do with it? I said, yeah, but I couldn't help it. I happened to be there, but that not, not, you know, I'm not to blame for that. They said, can you change any part of this? I said, no. But if you found out that it was a wrong, your interpretation of what you saw was wrong, would you change it? Would it change? I said, well, of course. And you would change that part of your mind? I said, yes. Well, what happened when you found out that your father already knew what you didn't tell him? I said, well, that changed my mind. They said, aha. Who changed it? Well, I did. Well, since when can you change flesh? If it's flesh. We didn't know you could change flesh any part of your body that you want. I said, well, no. I said, not nah, from what you've shown me. No, all it is is a collection of everything that I have uh, experienced that I remember. They said, well, what about the subconscious part of your mind? I said, what do you mean? Well, they said, like Bumstead in his closet, he opens the door and everything comes down on top of it. I said, I still don't understand what you're talking about. Isn't that where you put what you don't want to remember? You carry it around with you, but you make sure that you're not aware of it, even though you're aware you have it, if it, if it and say, you know it's there. I said, yeah. Well, isn't it like a submarine? It goes under the water and you can't see the submarine, it submerges. And then something causes it to come aboard, to come up, and you can see the submarine? I said, yeah. Um, well, then that means that you can't hide it successfully. I said, well, no, under those circumstances, no. And I started to get a headache. He said, well, why have you hidden this from yourself in what you call the subconscious part of your mind? I said, because I don't want to remember it. I don't want to have the... Oh! What you don't want to remember, you still carry with you and pretend like you don't have it. How do you do that? If you were bored with this, how do you do that? I said, well, I don't... And I'm beginning to see I wasn't born with it. But that's what they all say. Well, were they born with it? I said, no. No. They created it. And I thought to myself, oh my God. I can't go out and tell this to people. I can't tell them that they created their own mind. And if they have a fucked up mind, it's because they created it. They put garbage and trash in there instead of, uh, it's their fault. They said, were they born with that mind? No. They had fucked up experiences. And that's why that's all that's in their mind. They said, well, what about people that um, know more than others do about certain things? I said, well, that's because they bothered to know. And that's why that's in their mind? Yeah. He said, well, then you are what is in your mind. As a man thinketh, so is he. I thought, there you go with the Jesus stuff again. There you go with the religion. He said, well, now are you convinced that you created your own mind? Including the subconscious part, you know. I said, yes, but I'm not going to tell anybody.
And then I saw that they were right. And that's why everyone had a different mind. 